All right, uh, good morning Rebels. Uh, we're here for our Welcome to Parliament action today. It's a symbolic action and uh, we're currently making our way up to uh, Parliament House. Uh, we've got a bit of a procession behind me. Um, and we're going to be doing a mock Welcome to Parliament ceremony. And that's going to include uh, several rebels dressed up as a snail. And, uh, you know, asking, we're going to be asking our politicians to act now and not at a snail's pace. So I'll just flip this around so that you can see the procession behind us. So this, this action today is organized by an affinity group, the um, uh, CADMU affinity group. So let's flip this And here we go. So I think one of the um, important things to point out here is that uh, last year there was a climate emergency declaration here in uh, South Australia um, and we were the first state to do so. Uh, also worth pointing out that in March last year um, you had the ACT uh, do their declaration. So if we're just looking at states I suppose uh, you know we were the first but overall it's the ACT. All right I'll flick back. It's a bit hard to walk backwards um, and film at the same time. So today's action is just a symbolic action. We're not going to be uh, disruptive. Um, As we make our way up, I might as well talk about a few other things that are happening um, with Extinction Rebellion this month. So uh, next week, we're running an action at Parliament House as well, uh, uh, called, um, you know, it's essentially, uh, you know, we're going to have a bunch of musicians playing fiddle and playing string instruments, asking, you know, politicians to again to act now. Uh, we're also doing a series of trainings as well. Um, so this weekend we've got a conscientious protector training. So if you're looking to take nonviolent direct action, uh, then they're definitely worth attending. And we're building towards the end of the month uh, as festival season starts here in Adelaide with the Festival of Civil Disobedience. So this is the day long uh, training. It's gonna be a bunch of information for rebels. So definitely recommend getting tickets to that. Oop. All right, let's move up. So worth pointing out that there's a bunch of other festivities happening um, at Parliament House right now. Um, so. so it's important that when we're moving along in a procession like this, that we move at the the pace of the slowest person and make sure that we leave no one behind because you know ultimately we're working for a future where we don't want to leave people behind um,
So we're just getting everyone uh, in place right now, rolling out the red carpet. Welcome and thank you all for being here. We acknowledge that we are meeting today on the traditional country of the Ghana people of the Adelaide Plain, and so we pay respect to elders past and present. We recognize and respect the cultural heritage, beliefs, and relationship of the Ghana with this land. We acknowledge that they are, uh, they are of continuing importance to the Ghana people living today. As speaker, I welcome all members to this first sitting of parliament for 2020. The House should recall that legislation was presented here during the last Parliament and its purpose was to declare a climate emergency. The citizens of South Australia were entitled to expect that action on the climate emergency would begin immediately. And while the government is now indicating that its energy policy is to aim for 100% renewables by 2030, the people are saying that's not enough. If we're going to experience worsening catastrophic summers and stormy flooding winters every year until then, South Australians have witnessed the most ferocious and destructive summer bushfires in our history. Thousands of hectares of bushland, crops and grazing land have been severely damaged. Many farm and horticultural buildings and many people's precious homes are devastated and lives have been lost. Thousands of farm animals and huge populations of wildlife are also gone. And at the election last year, the government had no policy. I repeat, no policy at all on climate change. Therefore, given the urgency and the declaration of an emergency just last May, I call upon the Premier or any of his ministers to explain to the House what the government has done now that the climate emergency has been implemented or what does it intend to do to reduce South Australia's greenhouse gas emissions. Does the government have anything to report? No. <laughs> well, I'm sure the House is very disappointed that the government benches seem to be struck dumb in a quagmire of inaction. So, we should ask for some accountability. Would the following ministers please approach the speaker's chair? The minister for procrastination. Uh, At a sales place, as you can see. Fossil fuels are gone. And does the House agree that this member has shown any accountability? No. Oh, no! No! Could we see, please, the Minister for Too Little Too Late? No. No. 100% renewables! How good is coal? <laughs> Time to act. Nature has rights! Act now. Tell the truth! in another snail's pace. Does the House agree that this minister has shown any accountability? No! 
What about the minister for the slow lane? Shane! Absolute shame. Up now! Do something! The minister also accompanied by a lump of coal, as you can see. And at a snail's pace. Does the House agree that this minister has shown any accountability? No! Save the bite! Order! Order! Well, I must say, the House seems to have fallen into a stupor of inactivity, while the people of this state are fed up. We need some action by somebody. Please, anybody! Oh, yes, perhaps you, sir. Yes. Okay, yes. Well, what would I do? I think we're, we're, we're all people, citizens of Australia, of South Australia, of Adelaide. Yeah. I think we can decide what we want our politicians to be doing. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 Citizens Assembly. Order, order. It seems that the House is ready to dissolve itself in favour of a citizen's assembly. Hey. And, so, yeah. and so I propose to put that resolution to the vote. All those in favour? Aye. Aye. Those against? I declare the motion carried on the voices. So the Speaker and the Convener of Citizens Assembly intend to present this um, demand to the Parliament now and if anybody wishes to accompany us 
will be most welcome. Be aware uh, that we uh, will have to negotiate our way into the house. All right, everyone, I think we'll uh, follow and we'll see how this goes. So uh, just in response to John's comment, um, it's not all just uh, performance art. What we're actually wanting the government to do is to reduce net uh, emissions uh, to zero by uh, 2025. So that's one of the three um, demands that Extinction Rebellion has. Uh, we're also looking for them to enact the change through a citizens assembly where, you know, uh, similar to a jury, jury system, you'd have uh, people from the public involved, you know, they'll be given the, um, the, the best science and a bunch of different proposals and they would vote and choose uh, how to do that. We can't leave this in the hand of, um, of the existing political parties. It just hasn't worked before. So, and on the, the first demand that we have is to tell the truth. And that doesn't just exist for um, uh, the government who should declare a climate emergency and they have here, but it's also to, you know, it's also for other institutions as well. We just should, should acknowledge that we're going through and um, not just a climate emergency, but an ecological emergency as well. We have 150 to 200 species that are going extinct every single day. I mean, if you look at the animals that have perished during the bushfires recently, it's, it's pretty terrible and we need um, sort of government action on that as well. All right, um, I'm going to see if we can follow the folks into the house uh, while the others uh, return uh, as well. So just sort of bear with me for just a sec. Should I join you? Should I join you on the live stream? Um, I don't know that we're going to get in. Okay. Like, it's really, really ambiguous All right. as to how, how far we're going to get. Yeah. So you can join us. All right, let's see how we go. Yeah. I All don't right. know, there also might be weird laws around filming in Harlem. All right, I mean, yeah, we'll see. 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 Yeah,
um, to sign up. We've got a, a mailing list. We have a regular newsletter going out you know, every um, maybe two to four weeks that has all the latest events and all the ways for you to get involved. So yeah, it looks like, <laughs> thanks Alex. <laughs> so yeah, um, so I'm gonna flick back to the group here. So we've got a, a small group here that intend to, you know, uh, to deliver this um, into government. We're not sure what's gonna happen, but we're gonna wait and see, and I'm gonna try to follow along um, for as far as, I, I, as far as I can. So. Um, the other thing I might uh, point out while everyone else is still talking is that um, Extinction Rebellion across Australia is running a bunch of actions to coincide with the opening of Parliament. So you might have seen yesterday in, uh, in Queensland, the South East Queensland crew uh, ran a real awesome um, disruptive action in front of Parliament where they had people who were you know, chained on to some of the gates. There were people who were glued on and taking uh, disruptive action. Um, Today's action here in South Australia is, is smaller. It's just organized by one of our uh, affinity groups. So the way that we kind of organize for a lot of our actions is that we have a bunch of smaller groups, which have between five and 15 people, and they go about organizing actions together. So in a lot of other organizations, you usually have like a central group and they'll organize a protest or a march. In Extinction Rebellion, it's different. You know, you're actually, we're wanting to skill you up to, to run your own actions, to take nonviolent civil disobedience and to find affinity with other people, right? Like we're all pretty terrified about what is happening right now. And the way in which to, you know, one of the ways in which to deal with that is to bond together and to, to create communities of resilience. Um, and that's what we do like, you know, through the affinity groups. On top of that, there's like lots of other stuff happening. Uh, we, we've got a bunch of working groups like media and messaging and you know, community integration and so on, doing a lot of the movement building work as well. And we've got a group of people who are looking at our sort of ongoing political strategy. So like whether you're um, sort of you know, uh, interested in getting involved, but not interested in, in being arrested, there's a bunch of stuff uh, that you can join in on. We need all the help that we can get. We've got a lot of people you know, working really hard uh, behind the scenes to make all of this stuff happen. On top of it, it's just like kind of amazing the, the, the level of things that we've been doing in the last year. We've had over 150 events. This is by an organization that is like, had its first public event back in uh, late February last year. So not even a year old really, and, and already doing a bunch, of, uh, a bunch of actions and things. It's quite, quite incredible. And that momentum is being carried sort of around the world. Hmm. Uh, one of the things that might not have been clear from the video as well is that we had a, a bunch of um, Ask Me people who were out here engaging with the public who were walking past. So we're kind of at the side of Parliament House because as you can kind of see behind me, there's, uh, you know, part of the road is blocked and there's actually a, an event happening at Parliament House right now. And we knew about this because, you know, we, you know, uh, we work, well, we not work with, but we you know, if we're intending on having actions that are potentially disruptive, we, you know, work with the police and liaise with them um, about what's going on. And we do that uh, not because we love the police, that's not the case. We do that because we're, um, we're wanting to make sure our actions are safe and that rebels, you know, that the situations are controlled because we're moving into situations where there's a lot of factors that we can't control. And so that's why having clear sort of decision-making processes, communicating with police is really important um, to ensure that like, you know, rebels are safe and that they're entering into situations, you know, that are, you know, that is, are as, as controlled as we can be. So, yeah. Oh, it's a lot of talking. <laughs> uh, I might see if I can get someone else on the stream. You'd be interested in being on the stream. I just, I'll, you know, like, who are you? What do you do in the future rebellion? All right, I'll pick it around. All right, so who do, who do we have here? What's, what's your name? Emily. Cool, and what do you do with an Extinction Rebellion, Emily? Um, I'm a leader, so it's a way to really important that actions are called out really carefully and then people will be able to be up Excellent. Oh, that's that's fantastic. Um, and, and why you um, why have you decided to work with Extinction Rebellion in action support? Well, um, I mean, it's devastating the situation that we're in and, and the lack of action and why kind of support and that
Excellent. Thanks so much, Emily. That's great. Yeah, so I think one of the things that's really important to highlight is that there are like lots of roles, as I said before, for people. You know, we have marshals who help guide and steer and, you know, communicate information. You know, at the actions, we have people who just liaise with the police. We have people like me who are doing a live stream. And, you know, we have a capture crew who are doing photography um, and video. Like, there's a lot of different roles. On top of that, you've also got your, you know, uh, you know, organizers who are, you know, putting the time in behind the scenes to plan and plot these actions. So, yeah. I might see if we can go around and talk to somebody else. Um, oh, would you be happy to be on stream? Cool. All right, I'll put this around. All right. Maybe, do you mind moving over here so the audio is a bit better? Yeah, sweet. So, who do, who do we have here? And uh, what are you doing today with Extinction Rebellion? What's your, what's your role? I'm part of the media team, so I'm taking video. Um, again, there are videos of the other camera operator of everything that's happened today. Excellent, cool. And why have you uh, decided to do this with Extinction Rebellion? Um, what's your motivation? Well, uh, <laughs> I mean, it's a big issue, isn't it? Everyone knows it's a big issue. And um, I just knew that I had some skills that I could offer to the team. You know, it's all about as many hands as we can have on deck. And, uh, I'm actually having a lot of fun. I'm getting to try out um, new things. I haven't done a lot of video editing before, and um, uh, it's a really great way to take part in a really good course. Excellent, awesome, cool. Um, I'm just trying to think what else, what else to ask. Um, I don't know, and you've got a lot of good snaps today, a lot of good video? Yeah, absolutely. Um, what I really like about this is uh, just being able to rock up and improvise. Uh, I'm working with another um, person on camera today is really good to know that they might be getting one side of the action and then maybe I'll get all the close ups, that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, just being creative with it. Cool, awesome. Well, thanks so much. Um, might leave it there. Thank you. All right. Are we going? You guys, it's too dangerous. You might get your phones Okay, no worries. Okay, I'll just film you walking in. Cool. All right, yeah. So we're not going to go in inside. Just um, well, I'm not going to follow the, the folks inside, but I'm just going to film from the outside as they go in, and then we'll sort of wrap up there. I hope you've enjoyed the stream today. It's a little bit rough. Uh, definitely not an expert when it comes to live streaming, but it's about doing the the best we can. So, oh. Yeah, so as you mentioned, there's a bunch of other activities happening today at Parliament House. Um, and so we had to sort of coordinate our action to, to, to work with that as well. Cool, sweet, thank you. So, so who do we have here? Jan. And, and why have you joined us today, Jan? Well, I, I joined today, actually, a couple of hours ago. Yep. But, like everybody, I'm concerned about climate change, climate crisis now. Right. And, and what role have you, you taken within the, the, the action today? Um, I'm just here while well, I'm trying to get into um, Parliament House. Oh right, okay. <laughs> See, and and have you done any sort of training or been to any of the yes. talks? Or how have you found them? Um, I found them very interesting, very informative. Um, and I've been to a few lectures. Excellent, great. 
Cool. Um, I'm just trying to think of questions. <laughs> Is there anything that the people on the stream should know? Maybe they've found us on Facebook well, and they're like thinking of getting involved. Um, no, but uh, the news keeps getting worse. I've just seen on, um, I'm not sure where I got the news, whether it was, um, it was online, that Japan has yeah that's that's right and there's actually like an extinction rebellion group that are based in tokyo and they've done a few actions as well so hopefully they'll be ramping up too I hope they do. well, that's right that's <laughs> cool thanks so much yeah. cool all right um still sort of waiting for a bit <laughs> might just check in with someone else I'm happy to be on the street. I'm just trying to buy time to be on Just who you are, what you do. Just be like a minute. All right, got another, another person. So, whoop, who do we have here? What's your name? I'm Mary, and I'm here today as a police director. Right, what, what does that mean? Well, we like to have a manager relationship with the police, so we're going to have a good time to have a good time. It's not everyone who feels comfortable or able to talk to the police in that way. So where we're doing a symbolic action like this one, we're often just speaking to the police, giving them information about movements, blockages in the road, and sometimes it's quite boring, but that's absolutely fine for me. That's a, that's a good word for me. And if we're doing a disruptive action, police liaisons are often trying to ensure safety so far as they're able to do so, because we're not in control of the police and they're paying to do Right. Uh, that's a very detailed answer. <laughs> um, and, and sort of why have you decided to join with Extinction Rebellion and, and take this role today? Awesome. Well, thanks so much for answering my questions. I'll uh, leave you to it. I might actually. Um, I can't talk right now. So just... That's right. Um, cool. I think what we might do is we might leave it there, and we'll post a bit of an update uh, a bit later. Uh, we've got a few capture people as well who'd be looking to capture footage too. So thanks so much for tuning in today, and hope you enjoyed the stream.